everyone, welcome to the Sugar and Crumbs kitchen. Well, tonight I have Georgie Godbold in the kitchen. Hi, Georgie. Hi. We have Simon on camera. Hello. And I'm on comments. So I'll be reading out the comments tonight, helping you out for everything. But we're really more than excited about having Georgie in the kitchen. She is here tomorrow doing an online class. Show what you're making tomorrow, Georgie. What I'm making tomorrow. The honey the honeybee. Oh, it's been a bit manic. This is what we're making tomorrow. Yeah, so anybody who's not joined the class, you're missing out. Georgie's done a fabulous teapot class last month. So if you still join the class, you've got access to the teapot class. Tomorrow we're doing this one. You know what? Feel free, join and watch it. Lots of the members want to watch it and then do the class later. But they like to join in the hive of activity that goes on during the Ooh. class and the chitter chatter, which is great. So it's, on long, it's an online class and we do it as though you're in the Sugar and Crumbs kitchen. So any of you guys who've been on a class in the kitchen, you know that they're fun, they're chatty, we have loads of banter and that's how we do our online classes. And all the people who've been on any of our online classes, including Georgie's, let everybody know how great they are because they are fabulous. They, it's the most, do you know we put them in groups and it's the most nicest experience in the groups, isn't it? Yes. And when I asked Georgie to do this, she was like, what am I on about? And I could see her thing but what's it like? Amazing. Amazing, Amazing. isn't it? Brilliant. And those group classes, the women in there, well, I don't think we've got any men in your group, have we? No, I don't think no, so. I don't know, so I've got a couple no. of men in my group. Yeah. <laughs> so anyhow, but the ladies in there are fabulous. They're so funny, they're enjoying themselves. They've actually made themselves a big bunch of friends. So if you want to learn how to make these fabulous things, do join the class. It's fabulous. It's online on our uh, website, sugarandcrumbs.co.uk. Just go to classes. You actually get three classes, and if we can squash in another one, we will. But then we're going to go down to single classes after that. So we'll be selling them um, just individual classes once those are out of the way. Okay. So I'm going to show you some of the options ready for the next class. Now, unfortunately, you can't vote. The vote is going on in the class. So, but we will show you what may be happening next month. And when is your next class? 7th of September, isn't it? 7th of September. So, do you want to September. show them what they might yes. be able to make yes. if you join the class? So, we've got this. This is amazing. I love this one. Fantastic. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. yeah, super. So this is the sewing basket. I absolutely love it. And um, if this does, if this is not next month's class, we're going to set this up as an individual class because I want to make sure that this she sewing basket to, happens. You're this one she wants to do it. Yeah. I think it's an amazing, uh, amazing class. And also, I need to get a few little um, tools in, some little embosser tools in. But this is an amazing class. So that is the sewing basket that's yeah. on the pole at the moment. Yeah, yeah, I, I do like that. You know I like that one, don't you? No, I like that one. Do you like that I, one? I, I, Do you like that one, Simon? Yeah, I like that one. <laughs> and then this is the pumpkin class. So anything that's not on the next class, we will do as individual classes at a later date. So this is the pumpkin class. This one is fabulous. I've actually been on this class myself at Renshaw when you did this. Yes, one. yeah. So we did this at Renshaw. Fabulous class. Absolutely loved it. Loads of skills. Now this... Do, oh, do this one next. This is my next beauty. They're all beautiful, but I love this. How lovely is this? This is the cotton reel. How lovely. Aren't the colours just beautiful? I just love it. I love all of them. And you know what? They're just fun. Can you imagine giving this one to somebody as a birthday cake? It is just divine. Love it. I love them all. I don't know where you get the ideas <laughs> from. No, I don't. No. So there we go. Okay. Then we have the mermaid, do we? Oh, we're going to do the... Well, oh, the honey, mermaid, isn't it? Yeah, mermaid. Right, so mermaid. this is the mermaid class. And do you know what? I saw a picture of this. When Georgie sent me the picture, I have to tell you, she knows. I wasn't impressed. But when you <laughs> see it, I'm like, I can't say I'm not impressed. It just didn't do it for me. You but when say you that, Carol. Close yeah. your eyes, close your eyes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but She's when you nice. see it in real life, it is fabulous. Really, really fabulous okay you can also make all the cakes on dummies if you wish or real cake i do insist that georgie does real cake she just loves it yeah. <laughs> and that's tomorrow's yeah. and that's oh and then, i've just done what, no. yeah the scarecrow no, i didn't put that on the pole i've only just made it have you right i know you put that one on the pole. no it's not really it's but just... i think we could do that as a class for next year maybe as the yeah. summer comes can't we yeah i love that and it's the attention to detail look at what's on the back of his coat how cute is that? Can you zoom in on that, Simon? Hold it still. 
Down a How? bit. Just down a down bit. A bit. Down, down a bit. bit. Down a bit. Look at that. There he is. Little mouse in the back pocket there. How cute is that? So you could make this um, as a topper, sat on top of the cake, or you could just make it like this and then have it ready to sit on top of the cake. Um, Georgie does also, because she's traveling all over the place, she does make some of the things just slightly smaller than you would make them, mainly because she just has no more room in the car. It's true. This would be actually a six inch cake and it would be taller. So it would be as tall as the honey pot or the cotton reel. And uh, this is the owl cake. And I love this. This is one of your newest ones as well, mm -hmm. isn't it? How beautiful is that? I just love it. Super. And then, have you brought your pirate with you tonight? Or did he not get here? He didn't get here. He didn't get here tonight. He sunk. He sunk. He sunk. He sunk. Yeah, <laughs> so, Georgie also has two books available. Do you want to show him the two books? Yep. So she has two books available. Now, if you want to buy the books, I used to sell them myself. But as she's here, you know what? Go back direct. There you go. Go direct to Georgie. Buy the books off her. She's going to... Is, that, is one of these in the book? Is yes, the yes, that's in the book. So that's yes. in the book. Dave called. is in the book. Dave's okay, in the so book. it's great. You see, yeah, there she is. Maggie. Oh, she's is... called Maggie there. Maggie. <laughs> this is her sister. They've right, all got it? names. <laughs> this is her sister we're going to do. So the books are available. Just message Georgie Godbold and sort it out with her. She also does some fabulous scales as well. Buy them off her as well. You really need them. They really do help. There's a lot of love. Everybody loves yes. them all. Absolutely, yes, and that's what we want. Lots and lots of love for us in the kitchen tonight. So um, I also want to say a big thank you to everybody. Um, I know I had a little bit of a wobbler last week, but thank you so much for your support. Tell you, it means a lot. I have built a massive group there. There's over, there's just short of 29,000 members. That community group is a fabulous group. It's full of love, it's full of joy. You know, every now and again, you get a bit of a bad penny in there. But you know what? The 99.9% .9 of the group is amazing. Um, the support to Sugar and Crumbs is amazing as well. Thank you. I don't know whether Simon can see all the flowers, but I ever see it's like it. It's like a florist in here, isn't it? But, uh, I can see them, Carol, yes. <laughs> can't, can see see them. can't see you, Simon. <laughs> I can see them, yes. But we have got loads of flowers in here. Thank you so much. It means a lot to me. Okay, so, um, and, uh, you know, just... It just means a lot. So thank you so much. I don't really know what else to say. I said thank you to everybody. There's one person I haven't said thank you to because they only gave me the first name, beginning with L. Uh, I think it's Leone. Leone. Leone or Leona. And um, I don't know the surname to be able to message back. But thank you, thank you, thank you. Very, very much appreciate it. And, um, you know, Sugar and Crumbs does a lot for the community. We've been um, holding Facebook Lives now for four years totally free for you and we've never been a pushy sales team at all we do the lives sugar and crumbs pays for it all we do the lives and it's about showing you how to use things it's about showing you how to use tools it's about showing you how to bake it's been showing you lots of things all completely free for you to sit on your settee in your own home and watch and you know what if there's a tool there and you like it you've got the opportunity to buy it if you don't want to, you know, you don't have to. But there's none of this, like, bye, bye, bye. It's very much, let's show you what it is. Let's show you what it's done. And then we also do other sessions as well, which is just baking, just getting you to join in. And when COVID-19 hit, our whole thing was then, sorry, Georgia, I'll let you on with it in a minute. <laughs> but our whole thing then was, you know what? Let's not talk about sales. So from when COVID hit, we went to five lives a week you know, showing you how to bake, keeping you occupied. We didn't talk about sales. We didn't have Facebook wish lists. We had nothing. We embraced ourselves in keeping you guys occupied. We set up classes, got you involved. I actually got these tutors in. I hate to say this word, but cheap as chips. I rang them and I said, <laughs> will you do me free classes for 60 quid? Seriously, where can you get people to travel up and do free classes for 60 quid? And I've asked them, and God bless them, they have Molly Robbins has, Georgie has, who's yeah. the other lady, Hannah has. You know, I'm doing my own classes as well. We have embraced the love and tried to keep you lot as busy as you can. It's like this week, we've got, we're so full of classes. If you look at the banner at the top of all the things we've got to do, and not only that, the bonus classes that I give in my own classes, and then this week we're doing afternoon tea. So if you are in the cupcake <laughs> bouquet class, and if you're in the, um, 
Buttercream Flowers class. We're doing afternoon tea and all that is a chit chat. I've just said to you all, you know what? Decorate your table, put the cakes out, get the scones out. <laughs> Me, Karen and Linwood Ward are going to sit here and we're just going to have a natter. And Simon is going to work out how I can chat to you. So that's how it's going to go. Does and he have a cake? What? Well, we're close to that <laughs> As long as we make him coffee. Look, I bought him a pink flask. Where is that pink flask? Have you filled it? So, <laughs> so, you know, we have done a lot for you guys. All free. So much stuff we've been doing free for you. We do lives every Monday, every Thursday night, as we always have done. We do baking on a Monday morning, baking on a Friday. You know, what can I? what more can I do for you? You know, and that's why every now and again I do get upset when somebody gives me a dig. I think, what for? I'm giving up, I give up as much of my free time as I possibly can and still carry on with a full-time job. And lots of you never, actually don't know how I do it. They think I don't sleep and you're right, I don't mm. sleep. So I am going to let on, and Georgie brought me a lovely bouquet of flowers today. You were upset about it. And I'd like to you? say thank you very much for asking me because it's brilliant to be here and I love every minute of it. And yes, it's a long way to come, but it's brilliant. But you love it though when you, you get you. here, don't you? Yes, I love it. And do we look it. up to you well? Totally look after yeah. me. Feed me after. everything. Hubby's upstairs watching television. Yeah. Brilliant. We do look after everybody who yes. comes to the kitchen. So I am going to move over, do comments, do share your love, give your feedback, let everybody know what you think about the classes. You know what, share the love about sugar and crumbs. Come on, let's get some more members on. We're not far off 30,000 members. We only got another <laughs> thousand to go, so keep sharing, sharing, sharing. Okay? Right, I'll get over there. <laughs> Bye! Yes, you did. Now, it's absolutely brilliant, and I thank Carol so much for asking me to come up, because I was up here like a shot, I can assure you, in the middle of lockdown. But it's safe, <laughs> I'm all safe, distancing, we're absolutely fine, and we always have been. So thank you. Right, tonight in the live, and it's very good, because last time I didn't even know I was doing a live, because no, I totally forgot about it. Well, you it. did know. You well, I did forgot. know, but I just forgot. <laughs> what live, says I? <laughs> Am I doing one? Yeah, we did Dave the Frog. And it turned out lovely. Well, you were very good. You and were I, very but good. I think I've never seen so many Daves swimming around on the Facebook. No. It was lovely. And all your frogs were absolutely brilliant. So well done, ladies. I know you called them all different names. But um, Dave, that was after my son. So he'd love me to say that. Absolutely. And can I just interrupt? Just when I'm talking about lives, my son is on tomorrow on his own company page, which is Rocket Food. He's doing master classes uh, where you can just join and watch on how to cook. He did a fabulous steak night and Japanese night, and I can't remember whether it's Mexican or Italian tomorrow, seven o'clock. Also, I've got the lovely Rebecca Ledger in, mm -hmm. who's going to do your live. So those people who want to know all questions about setting up a cake business, she's on our page at mm. half past seven on, um, no, she's on at seven o'clock. Sorry, on Wednesday she's on. Yeah. Yeah, so Rebecca Ledger's on at 7 and Ryan's on at 7.30. Right, okay. Yeah, so Ryan Stafford <laughs> is on at 7.30 on the Masterclass. Tomorrow night on his own page, Rocket Food. And Rebecca Ledger is on on Wednesday. So all those people who are thinking of setting up their own cake business, come here, watch it. She will answer all your questions. Okay, she's doing it live from her own home. So she's taking control of all the comments, but she will be able to answer you with everything. As per usual, Tracy Mann's in the kitchen. We've got afternoon tea, buttercream flowers. We've got all sorts of things oh, going on. Molly's in the kitchen this week. Everybody's here. It's like We're all here, big, folks. One big party. Yeah. Right, I'm now going to Brilliant. shut up. <laughs> no, don't shut up. Just tell me what happens. Hello, hello again. Right, we are going to make Rosie. This isn't Rosie, and I've forgotten her name. What was her name? Yeah, anyway, you said Rosie and no, Fred. yeah, but this isn't. Yeah, this is Fred. But Rosie's going to be a pink one because I decided oh, you're making I'm Rosie. making Rosie. Rosie's pink, so I'm I'm roughly doing this now. This is step by step, and this is in my book. It's not called. It's called Maggie in my book. <laughs> so many names. So there you are. It's step by step by step in the book. So this is what we're going to make, and I'm just going to show you how easy it is. Because a lot of you do adapt what I'm making. You make them into other things, which is absolutely brilliant. And I love to see them, so thank you. Right, we're going to cover a little board first. Um, these are little, just four-inch boards. I must order some more. Yeah. <laughs> right. So, so I was just going to say hello to lots of people. We've got a gentleman watching tonight. Very nice. Geraldine's brother, Nick, is watching. And thank you, Nick, for your lovely feedback via Geraldine. Very, very much appreciated. We've got Paul the, uh, Paul the Bold Baker watching oh, tonight. Oh, hi, Paul. Yeah, Paul's lovely as well. 
So lots of people watching, you're over 350 at the moment. So don't forget, like and share, like and share, in for a chance to win a 25 pound voucher. <gasps> I could win a 25 pound voucher. No, no, I'm well, not getting one. I'm not getting one. <laughs> <laughs> Are you in the drawer, Simon? No. 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 Right, what I'm gonna use is, what I'm gonna use is it's color splash. Now I'm just gonna put a little bit in here and what I'm using is the Renshaw um, extra sugar paste. Sugar paste is exactly the same as fondant. So if you see fondant anywhere, sugar paste, it's exactly the same thing. This is just a very, very soft paste and this is what we used for covering our cakes. So if you've got all those cakes and you're covering them, this is what we use. I just need to stop you again, sorry. <laughs> Calibo chocolate is arriving on Thursday, sorry. I've not put it into stock yet because your, haul, your order will get held back, but I will be putting it into stock Wednesday morning and all the Calibo chocolates back in. I have ordered it, but I just have to wait for these companies to is deliver. Is that for Tracy Mann? Eh? Is that for Tracy Mann's chocolate? Uh, no? She oh. does the uh, cocoa butter, doesn't she? Right, just a little bit. Oh yes, that was lovely. I liked watching yeah. that. I liked Tracy's day. Yeah, it's then. brilliant. I had great fun watching that. Painting a sunflower. Beautiful. And unlike me, I actually sat and watched the whole of her den. It was lovely. It's nice to sit and watch other people. Right, look how easily this goes in. I only want a very, very pale pink. You probably can't see it. Difficult to Can tell, you see? Yeah. Yes, it's very, very, very when pale. When you've got a pink board and it's kind of White reflects the pink anyway. Yeah. See, that's white, that's pink. You can just yeah. see. Let's go to Does it? that one, shall we? Or shall oh. we go to over here, actually? That's not the best. We'll change it. Yeah, that's better. So as you the can see... Is, I really get that pale pink. People need to remember less is more. Yes. And they're always scared about putting a tiny bit in, no. aren't they? And it goes so far. Think, yeah. Yes. It does. It's nice, actually. Yes, you can use Tylo in your fondant if you need to firm it up to make it modelling paste. It's one teaspoon of Tylo per 250 grams of fondant or sugar paste. Now this is my, Carol's got the big board, I've got a little board. Purely because if I'm cutting on this and muck it up, um, even though I know, they self-repair actually, don't they? Yeah, they're called um, self-repair, non -stick Yeah, boards. they're very good. All you good. need to do is just rub a bit of I know, but I wouldn't like if I <laughs> If I mark Carol's board, she can kill me. Yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> I'm, I tend to use little boards. But they are, they're lovely. I don't use anything on them at all. And look, they don't stick. And I know they're a little bit more expensive. But they're brilliant. Yeah, they're well worth it. Mm. Yeah. This is a rose... Carol hopes to be getting some of these. This is a rose... Um, a rolling pin so it's embossed so as we're going to call the little bear rosie i thought she could sit on the board but if you haven't got any of these rolling pins the supplier wants me to stock them but she did ask me to stock them last november and trying to get a hold of her since has been hard work so <laughs> can you see no you won't be able to see yes that. you can yeah yeah can you? i can see that yeah can see it? yeah yeah can yeah, you see the roses? Yeah. Absolutely gorgeous. But you can also use any other embossers if you want. Any embossers. Like it just gives it a little bit more interest than a plain, yeah. plain straight board. So this is my little uh, little four inch board. Glue. Now I use Tylo. Tylos, Tylo. I've got a brush. A um, little bit of uh, Tylos in here. Water. Leave it. Put that on the board. Yeah, I think some people are amazed that I've got a cardigan on. Yes. I never wear a cardigan. They're asking me if I'm cold. <laughs> I'm actually not sure. Don't feel hot, though. <laughs> <laughs> right, lift that up. Put that down. Press very lightly. Little palette knives, brilliant. I'm sure you've all got them. But some of you, some ladies are new. They probably haven't followed us before. Yeah. And I think it's, you know, it's good to down say. A bit lower, so oh low. God. Yeah. So bossy. There's a few good t tools that you should have in your life. I think that mini palette knife has to be one of them. Totally. It, that's First a, one. You just need that all the time. I don't actually know anybody who doesn't use one no. of them. Yeah. Um, I think your little non-stick board has to be another one. Yes. Your Dresden tool has to be rolling another. Pin. Small rolling pin has to be another, doesn't it? So that gives it a little bit more interest. I'm sure you can just see it. You can just... see it better from this side one because it's the light strain across that so that's better. There yeah. we go. So I've got my orders now. Yeah. 
We're having no freezing technical difficulties here. I think maybe you, maybe the kids are on your Wi-Fi. Kick them off. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> right, and put that in a plastic bag because it's very warm. It is up here, and uh, apart from Carol's got a cardigan on. Oh, I've been cold every night. Okay. Yeah. And it'll keep. Yeah. If you add Tylo to your sugar paste or you're using flour and modelling paste, you must put it in a little bag like that ASAP. Otherwise, it'll just harden up. Now, for all the models, so every model in the book, you need to make it with a model. This is flour and modelling paste. This is Renshaw's. This is what I like. This is what I can get hold of. There are other makes. Some people like it. It's like everything. You get used to what you can buy, where you can buy yeah. it. So this is what I like. So this is the Renshaw modelling paste. But just to let you know, you can use the Coolpit modelling paste or the Squires. Yes. But in fairness, Renshaw's is very popular, isn't it? it? Is, yeah. yeah. And it's the biggest pack as well, I think, isn't it? I think it? it's super. Squires is like 200 grams. That's yeah. 250. 250. And Coolpit's is 100 grams. So. Oh, is it? Yeah. I buy it by the kilo. <laughs> Yes, we've started selling the kilo blocks now. Kilo yeah. blocks, yeah. Right. So I use my little scales. These little scales I'm sure you all know I've had for ages. They're saying my lady magnet has, has worked, but I haven't received it yet. Fact that, on the fact that I haven't ordered one yet. Do you know what a lady magnet is? I haven't the fuck rheumatism. Well, so, did you know what it was, Simon, or did you learn the other week? I, I have <laughs> Simon's closing his ears, you know. Well, as I walk up and down the kitchen, I've not seen muscle bits flying towards me. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder what that was. <laughs> well, basically, you can buy magnets that you can pop in your knickers. <laughs> and if you're on the change of life, it seems to sort it all out. I haven't bought them yet to try them, but they've been telling me about it. That's what I need. But... <laughs> That's absolutely stopped me now, hasn't it? Right. Yeah. Um, I think we're, we're too early in the evening for this. That's true. Stop. I um, never know what I'm going to learn in the sugar and crumbs kitchen. No. <laughs> I only learned it the other week. I'm scared of buying them in case anything is starting to me as I walk around. <laughs> Can you imagine? John a fork and a knife. Yeah. I walk past John in the, in the kitchen and a kettle comes flying at me. <laughs> right, change the subject. <laughs> or your scales or something. <laughs> Isn't it nice to have a laugh, though? It's so nice. Mm. I'm sorry, but I'm not a serious lady. <laughs> right, I'm not sure why you've got... Um, I don't know why you've all got freezing issues. Well, not all of you. And some of you have got uh, screen, blurry screens. What I would suggest is, is turn your phone off, uh, turn your phone off or your appliance off and come back in again. I'm actually watching via my own phone and I've got no issues whatsoever. Bernie, tell me more, Cara. I may need those magnets too. Well, I've only just <laughs> learnt about them myself. <laughs> See what you're learning here, Simon? Yeah. <laughs> it's laughing. Right. I want 45 grams. Now, these are very accurate, these little scales. So when you're using um, the scales and you only want a couple of grams, these are perfect. And I'm sure a load of you have got them. Again, knead your paste. So the bodies of all the wobblies, whether you're making Dave the Frog, whether you're making Claire the Pussycat or Amelia the Bunny Rabbit, can't think what the others are now, there's loads of them, um, they're all the bodies of 45 grams. So once you learn that, you can adapt that into anything. You could adapt it into a sheep, a giraffe, anything. But you've got the proportions right. Sometimes it's very difficult when you see these animals and they're not in, they're not in proportion. And they look funny. So this is one way to get them all right. So anybody who wants the scales, message Georgie direct. She's called Georgie God Bold. Uh, for, year, for a long time, I was always writing Gold Bold. <laughs> but it's God Bold, G-O-D-B-O-L-D. -D. Message her direct. You can buy her books and uh, scales off her. Do be careful when you weigh in small stuff. Don't be running around with small packets of ice and sugar. It could get you into a lot of trouble if you're in the car with scales and those. <laughs> I was laughing because a lady was giving out samples of our flavoured ice and sugar in small bags. I forget which lady it is and she's probably watching tonight. But she said, Carol, I was, I was scared. I was, she said she's bagged up little small bags just so people could dip the finger in and taste it. She said if the police had pulled her over, she would have a bit of a time trying yeah. to get actually ice and sugar. 
I get stopped in customs wherever I go. <laughs> right, so you've got a nice smooth ball and we're going to make it into a cone. Okay, can you see all that? It's a nice cone. If you can't get that straight, uh, cocktail sticks. And Tesco's cocktail sticks. sticks. There are other makes you available. Tesco sticks, yes, because they're the right height. Mm. Some of them are short. Some of them haven't got sharp points because it's health and safety. Um, some of them have got bobbles at the end, but Tesco's are perfect. So, and you want about a finger at the top. But I do give you the actual measurements. If you can't get that smooth, turn it on its side and roll. Yeah, there, are. Simon, you've done a spelling mistake. You've put gold bold. <gasps> Simon. It says, it's on um, Gina Lee says, it says gold bold on this line. Oh, I've been putting my glasses on when I was typing it. Oh, Simon. Simon. We've now sacked Simon. <laughs> Simon. Simon. <laughs> I was, I was, you know. Right, she's called Georgie Godbold, okay, and the scales are ten pound, aren't they? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. Right. Head. All heads. Whether you're making the elephant, the mouse, the bunny rabbit, a little person, every single head is twenty grams. So there again, you l learn. Because and also if you come to my classes, I, you get tested, and I give fantastic prizes away of cocktail sticks and pipe cleaners. You do. I do. You do. You're very generous. Yes. <laughs> oh, Simon's in trouble. Is he? Simon is human, apparently. Yes. That's Tracy sticking up for you. Is she? I'm not sticking up for him, That's Tracy. Come on, I didn't have very long between the two. Shows no, it's no excuse. All that in. Not my problem. You should have had it all organised before you started. You can't organise it before. Why not? Got to check right, back to the thing. wobblies, ladies. <laughs> Sorry, just having a little, little domestic here. <laughs> It's the magnet in her knickers. <laughs> That's a problem. I haven't got a magnet in my knickers. Just as well. Simon's glasses might fly off. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. How many grams, Simon, to the head? Um, Was it listening? 25? No, 20. Oh, depends oh. how big you want the head, really, doesn't it? <laughs> The pink board that Georgie is working off is on our website. Now we've got loads of different sizes. Pop over there and have a look, see which one suits you. I think we've got five different sizes of pink boards. I've got enough. It's all right, don't worry. We've got one bigger than that. You've got one bigger than that. Yeah. Right, you've got one bigger than that. Yes. But they are, they're brilliant. The boards are brilliant. Right, nice smooth ball. Oh dear. You know when you you know if you've got your phone on silent, it yes. does subtitles. So Bernie's just said, "Oh dear, the subtitles totally got it wrong when you said you'd sack Simon." <laughs> I'm not going to say what it actually said. Oh, dear. <laughs> right, there's for the head. Simon's laughing. <laughs> well, there's something going on. Some people have got it spelt right, and other people haven't. Really? So How is that on. even possible? I have no idea. Right, that's for the head. Shoulders. So these are the arms that are coming down. And that's they're 10 grams each. So in the pot that's getting rubbed into Georgie's hands is Trex. Yes. That's all it is, a little pot of Trex. Yeah. You can add it, and it's a vegetable fat, and it's great, especially if your modeling paste starts to dry out a little bit. Mm. But it's great for rolling. It's also great for rubbing onto your board, because these are non-stick boards. And they last a hell, of a, long, a hell of a lot, excuse me, I've got the hiccups a long time, but when you keep wiping it, eventually you do sort of wipe the coating off. Yeah. So just rub a bit of Trex on, tiny mm. bit. And all, it just makes the paste a little bit supple. It just gives it a little bit stretch. They're just laughing about Simon's glasses <laughs> flying off and attaching itself to my knickers. <laughs> Simon would be seriously worried if he did. <laughs> Right, so I'm going to weigh 20 grams. That's not too much. And this is just making sure you get the proportions right. Oops. What did you do? Did you just sit there one night and start weighing paint, yes. Georgie? Yes, yeah. 
I mean, yes. we know about your story about how you came up with pipe cleaners, yes. but you just sat there and just weighed it all and out. And weighed it out. But it works though, doesn't it? Mm. And Georgie does have a rule in her books, all the bodies are one weight, all the heads are another weight, feet and hands are another weight, ears are another weight, and once you get to know, you can make anything. Anything, yes. Yeah. Yes, I just sat there just to get it right and weighed and weighed. Yes. Yeah. Just nothing to do one day. Yeah. If you want to buy these books, just message Georgie Godbold, not Goldbold, <laughs> Godbold, and they are brilliant. How much are the books? Are they four ninety nine each? Yes, I say five pound, and the pennies all go in charity. Yeah. When the boxes come in, I add up the pennies, and they go into a charity. Right. So if you haven't got the scales that will go down small, always weigh out a bigger, bigger amount, and then you can just cut it in half. Right. There's my little board. I haven't managed to get a magnet yet, but I'm looking forward to getting one. <laughs> Can I have one? I know we'll get you right, one. A little bit of glue at the bottom, but never go to the edge. Can you see I've left that gap? Because as soon as you put that on there and press down, the glue will squidge out. Carol has got some fantastic brushes. Oh yeah, you love them. I you? love them. Look at this. Look it's at like the, the fine. ball on the side. Yes, as well. it's got a little ball on the side. They come and look at this. She's given me today all different styles, little brushes, and all different little balls. Yeah, you use them. And they glitter. Like screen. Yes. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. Yeah. So these it's... are lovely, and it, for the people that are heavy-handed with glue, I always give when I do workshops. I always give them the very, very fine brushes. Yeah. And then you can't. Yeah. We can you try like those little yellow ones I gave you, but these are nice because um, you can dab in your glue or your paints and mm. ball tool from yes, the other side as yes. well, can't you? It's a hands up. Who's who's glue happy? Yeah, and then they get right. So shoulders. Well, I'm getting loads of advice about magnets and where I can buy them from, but I'm seriously worried because I might get myself attached to the fridge. <laughs> right. So we're gonna make a cone. I'm going to, excuse me, I'm going to open that door because I'm having a hot flush. Oh, I'll we'll have to get you a magnet. <laughs> <laughs> I'm definitely not having a hot flush. There's a lot of hot air in here. No, there isn't really. I've just got actually, hotter and hotter. I've actually only had one hot flush today. <laughs> no, yeah. I'm fine. Right, so exactly the same. Nice smooth ball. Oh, I like that. Magnets in your knickers will divert the knife <laughs> from your back. <laughs> Well. <laughs> I know we're making a wobbly, but this is a bit, yeah, right. So what made you decide to do this, Georgie? Go on, tell people, how did you end up making wobblies? Right, how I, how I started making wobblies. I made a Christmas cake. Father Christmas, sitting on the side of the cake, long legs, black boots, hanging off. Knew what I wanted to do. The boots kept falling off the legs. So as soon as I glued the boots inside the trousers, hanging, they fell off. And I couldn't get anything to get the boots to stay on. And in the end, I chucked it and went to bed. Four o'clock in the morning, I woke up and went pipe cleaners. Woke him up with the side of me. <laughs> Actually woke him up and went pipe cleaners at work. I won't tell you what he said. I went down the town the next morning, found some pipe cleaners, and that started because pipe cleaners have a wire inside. And I just woke up and went, pipe cleaners, they've got a wire in. That was it. And I was down the town nine o'clock in the morning and I brought some pipe cleaners. And then I've still got the first little one I'll bring her next time that yeah. I made. And then I gradually thought, well, if people are going to make them, they need to be stylized so we'll all yeah. go with the same weights. And that's exactly how it started. Yeah. And then I was working at the NEC and a publisher came up. Yeah. I just love the concept. I think it's brilliant. Mm. Ever since I met you, do you remember the first time I yes. met you? I met you at... Renshaw. Uh, Renshaw? No, do you not remember? I scared the living daylights at you oh, yes. at Cake and Bake yes. in Manchester at one yes. of our very first shows. Yes. <laughs> I, I was giving my girls a training Excuse session. Me. I walked past this door and it was like, can I say Gestapo? <laughs> this lady, this side, marching up and down with her orders, the poor staff behind going... 
behind her and I went oh I'm not going down behind her because she's frightening the life out of me but she was doing the right thing because she was explaining to her ladies I'm a customer what do you do if somebody asks yeah. this what do you do if somebody else? and now I know but I tell you what and there was one girl there who looked at me and I went I can't go down <laughs> And then I found We've Karen. We've been friends ever since, yeah. haven't we? But it was, yes, it was actually. Yeah, it was right. a, okay, I yeah. thought of that the other day. Yeah. Yeah. I was actually doing a training session with all my girls. <laughs> and I was asking them difficult questions. Was, yes. And they weren't allowed to help each other. And that's why they were all feared to death. They had to give the right answer. And they had to know the product. So I was yes. asking them about the product. But as you all know, I don't speak quietly. So unfortunately, the whole hall heard it. <laughs> Nobody would go down the aisle like a <laughs> show. But, but we have the best stand on our show stand. That, Everybody loves my girls. Yeah, and really, that was... And they, they love you. And the thing was, that's what it should be. Yeah. Because those girls knew exactly. Because yeah. there's so many questions to ask. And we could get the right answers. When you come to a show and you come to our stand, my girls are not stood there reading their phone. They're there helping you. Yeah. And anybody who's been to a show will say how much. And they all have their favourite girls that they come and see. Mm. You know, and um, they've always been a great team. I call them my show girls and, they've, and I have the same team. Over the years, a few of them have had to change because they've left to have babies. I don't know what it is. Oh. I have my buttercream girls who make my buttercream and they've all got pregnant so far. <laughs> so a lot of them don't want to make, don't, don't want to make the buttercream. Because Karen was there, isn't well, she? Well, Karen's at one. Karen's at one. Karen's at one. Pardon? Yeah, Karen. Can you put in it? Well, Laura, Laura was pregnant. Jenny yeah. was pregnant. Yeah. And was, I think we've had a third one. Vic was pregnant. Nice smooth ball, little bit of glue, not too much, and that goes on the head. Yeah. So as you can see, we've got the long, the arms on, the head on, and the body. So that could be turned into a cat or or anything, but it's going to be a little bear. Yeah, they're just all saying how good the team are at the show. Just yeah. turn it round towards the camera, can you, so we can see it at the front. Yeah. Which is the front? I don't know. That, you don't oh, that way. The that way. That's that the way. Front, That's yeah. the front. Yeah. That's the front. Yeah. Right. No, they're just all saying about how our team are great, and they are great. They're always smiling. Mm. They're always happy. Mm. You know, and they're always busy as well. That's true. You're manic. Yeah. Right. Pipe cleaners. Oh, there we go. Right. One pipe cleaner makes one character. So for the legs, it's very easy to do. Nearly all the legs. Should we watch this from above, do you think, or which which best way? You can sit. Don't mind. You can sit here. All right. There you go. Don't. Sorry, it's pink. It doesn't. Never use pink on a pink board, right? Um, don't use your best scissors. A little pair of wire cutters. And cut. Right. Dropped another one. And then fold in half again. And cut. So you immediately got two legs. With your pointy tool, little pointy tool, this is FMM. This sets sets of tools, don't they? So I'm yeah. going to put two little holes, let me see, in the bottom. Not all the way through. Yeah, you can face it to that camera there, can't you? Yeah, well, that's fine, you can see that. that yeah, that's fine. You're facing this camera. Yeah. You're oh. watching what you are. That's you, what the customers can see. Yes. And you're on this camera. <laughs> yes, I can see me. I can't see me, Robin. Can I just answer a question? No, please do. Um, I'm not doing any shows this year. I have to be honest, I am asthmatic and I'm always ill after a show. If any of you have watched me, you always know I'm sort of mm. barking. I know barking mad is one thing, but I'm usually barking from my chest. And I suffer very badly after the show. So until there's a vaccine, and I know that everyone's going to be well, unfortunately I won't do shows anymore. So I will not be at any shows this year. I'm so sorry. Mm. And this is part of the reason why I've decided to go online. The staff, are, the staff are disappointed, we're all disappointed, but I don't want to risk anybody by being at the shows. The other thing is we have to give buttercream tasters. How can I do that with um, the one metre rule in place, which will still be in place in the winter? Yes. And, and, and we actually can't give out tasters, and people want to do that. So I just don't actually know how we could actually demo the product. I think it's going to be difficult for everybody. Yeah. So I won't be at any shows this year, I'm so sorry. 
But you can order your stuff online. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. Right, I've taken a little bit of the fluff. This is a very fluffy pipe cleaner. <laughs> so, now if you put your finger at the back, you'll feel when that pipe cleaner goes through. So you do need to have a little bit you of space. Can't see what you're doing because you're this camera. Yeah, I can. S I, I'm seeing it on there, aren't I? Yes, because you're. That's for you. Oh, that's what the customers can see. You're filming to this camera. Very sorry, ladies. I thought what was on there they could see. That's yes. what they can see as well. Oh, but I see. You but you keep. It. But you keep turning to there. So can you see here? I so can't this see is a thing. Filming you, so you just have to watch what you're doing there. So if you put your hand across, they can't see. Okay. <laughs> I don't want to move now. Turn the legs towards you more. Me. Towards you. Towards you. Yeah. Yeah. And he can get you from the overhead then. <laughs> Anybody got a Kodak camera? We could just take pictures. Right. Okay. Push through. Just feel that. Don't wiggle it around too much. Because you don't want it coming out. There we go. Just to the back. Somebody said it's looking very rude at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure why. I'm actually not sure if any shows are going ahead this year. I, I know I've been asked and I've actually declined and I have to decline. I, I can't risk, my, I'm asthmatic, I really can't risk it. No, you can't. Right, we'll get in there. Pause. Pause are six grams each. Am I right now? Yeah. I'm just... It used to be thingy rushing around with their camera, didn't it? What was her name? What was your lovely lady's name who used to help you first of all? Oh, Maria. Maria, yeah. yes. Maria in her camera flying yeah. around. Right, so we want... Go to the so zeros. It's very, it's very important just to remember the weights. If they do the weights, they'll get it right, isn't it? Yes. Because your whole thing is about weights, cones and balls. Yes. That's what we like there, yeah, mm -hmm. guys. Weights, cones and balls. So 24 grams. And somebody's just asked, will I do classes here in the kitchen? Unfortunately not. Not until there's a vaccine out. We have got we have got the um, the cake illusionist in, in October, but I, I won't do any classes myself um, until I know that there's a vaccine out and we're all safe. Mm. Right, knead the paste again. Always knead this paste well. You're just going to have to have me on live. It's much more fun, anyhow. <laughs> and my classes, if you come into any of my classes, they're great. Everybody will tell you. You know what? It's just like being in my kitchen. You don't need to pay for a hotel. This is why we're doing it. It's why Georgie does yes. it as well. No hotel accommodation, no travelling, no tiredness. And we take it so slow and everything. You, you feel as though you're in the kitchen with us. If you haven't got the scales that go down this far, you know, really low, one ball cut in half. And then cut in half again. So both your paws, for your hands and feet, are going to all be the same sizes. Yeah. Yeah, we don't want odd feet, do we? Don't want odd feet. So people are asking, where can they buy? You can buy the books and the scales. You just private message Georgie Godbold direct. Now, she's here. She may not answer tonight, and she may <laughs> not answer tomorrow. She's actually teaching. She's doing this live. And she's been traveling all day today so do not panic if she doesn't get back to you what i would suggest is you all message her on wednesday and thursday that would really help her out yes because tonight she's she's what have you done a five hour trip today haven't mm -hmm, you mm -hmm. and her husband looks exhausted yes. georgie needs to go to bed she's got a full class tomorrow and then she's driving directly home so i would message her sometime after two o'clock on wednesday Thursday or Friday, she will look after you. Seriously, she's very good. She will come back to you. Yeah. Right. And I'm of... glad you're all loving the online classes. A little bit of glue at the end of the pipe cleaner. Don't forget they've got a wire there, so that's fine. A little bit of glue at the front there and a little bit of glue. You don't need much. Right, so I've done little discs. So to make a disc, round, flat, turn over. Round, flat, turn over. Right, I'm going to put one there. She's called Georgie Godbold. So Georgie God, not gold, Godbold. 
Please don't look on my first Facebook page I had called the Sugar Wobblies. Yeah, ignore that one. Ignore that one. You'll get more than what you bargain for. No, <laughs> I had to take that page down. Yeah. If you're being asked to buy tickets for any shows, just make sure you can get your money back before you book. That's all I would say. So I don't know if any of the shows are going ahead. I don't even think they know if they're going ahead. No. They plan to go ahead. So um, they plan to go ahead. We won't be there. I don't know who else is going to be there. Have a look. But I really can't chance it this year. And I may not do it next year until there's a vaccine out. And I'm absolutely sure I'm not going anywhere. I'm so sure about going anywhere. I'm not even going to cinemas, restaurants, nothing. I'm just staying quite happy, staying at home, visiting family. Else we baby wipes. Right. Right, come on. right, two lines. And when you do your two lines, you're actually pressing those little um, feet into the paste. Try and just do it so we can see what we do. See what you do. It keeps telling me off. <laughs> Nobody can see anything. No, because they want to be able to see it. Where, is it? It? Where does she need to be? Well, if you sell a witch camera to Any me. camera, but, but, but you're not covering it up. Yeah, well, it's a bit difficult, Simon, because she's right handed. So, you know, where do we want to be? You'll have to help us. Do you want her on this camera, or do you want her on that camera? Or do you want her on the overhead? Overhead, if she's not. Right, don't stick your head in. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. How's that? And you have to do it at an angle so he can zoom straight in. Right. So if you lift right. it up. Yeah, so we can see it Lift there. it up, go on, go a bit higher. Go a bit higher so they can see the cut on the feet. They can see that. There you go. Yeah. Karen, see the lovely roses looking, now? You're not looking at the outfit. No, because I'm 30 seconds behind. Yes, you got too high. <laughs> um, she was telling us to go I high. can't, I can't yeah. see at the moment. <laughs> right, just going to change to white. So again, it's the um, Renshaw white... Um, modelling and flower paste just make sure that you um, cover this up because it really does especially now it's very warm up here isn't it no it's no, not but change, is it cold where you are you Must normally be. always have the best weather down no, there no, everybody no. always moans how cold it is but i am actually cold she's cold right. so we're going to do the so it's, oops, it's white you can't do this beforehand it just Whatever you do, it needs it needs kneading. Yeah. So to get it nice and soft, a little bit of trex. And the trex, this little pot here, I just keep that in the fridge, and it'll keep forever. Put a lid on it, and it'll keep. So it's got little roses on the board there, yes, isn't it? Yes, on the gorgeous. Right. So the roses on the board are by a little rolling pin, and to be fair, the supplier would like me to stop them. The only problem is, is the supplier has gone missing. <laughs> so, Georgie introduced me to the supplier. I actually know the supplier anyhow, but George, um, George, the supplier said to Georgie in November, do you think Carol will stop these? And then she came over to see me, and since then she's gone missing. So I'm hoping to find her. Georgie's going to do her best to locate her, and if we can, I'll get them all stocked up in it. They're brilliant, yeah. absolutely brilliant. But otherwise, you'll just have to use other little embossers if you haven't got these. Another set of cutters I like. Yeah. So I'm only really showing you what I like. Yeah. But I think they're they're the best cutters, and these are FMM, and I use them every single time I do a workshop or duck den. They're geometric cutters, and there's ten in a pack, and I think they're brilliant value for money. And I must have had those. Oh, I don't know, eight years. The petal base works exactly the same, Geraldine, as the Trek. So yeah, petal base, and the petal base. It's got a vanilla flavour, so it's much nicer to smell on your hands as well. So always put your cutter down and press, and then pull up the outside, and then you'll get a nice smooth edge. I'll be doing that again. Moving the camera. What? I haven't touched anything. Have I moved the camera? <laughs> just move it. Did it? Yeah. Right, glue again. A little bit of glue just round the edge of that oval. Yeah, Trex is the same as using Petal Base, apart from Petal Base smells of vanilla, so it's great. And we've given a little tummy. These cutters that George is using, to be fair, she introduced them to me many years ago. And I've been to several classes where, where Georgie was, does the Renshaw classes. Unfortunately, they don't do classes anymore. And it's one of the things that you use constantly all, all the, the time. time. Yes. So they're from, the, an amazing investment. I looked at them and thought, what do you want them for? But uh, by the time she shows you what you can make with them, crikey, you do want them. Well, instead of buying a little oval, 
if I take that down and just cut round, Abby's just come in the door. Look, you've got Hello, a little Bobby. oval. Make, make sure <laughs> yeah. you're working hard. Look, making sure I'm working hard. <laughs> yeah, always working hard. So that gives you a little oval. So we need that for the muzzle. I thought you'd be asleep, dear. Again, blue in the middle, don't go to the outside. So don't forget everybody, like and share to be in with a chance for a £25 voucher. We're doing all the draws on Thursday night this week because we have Molly in the kitchen. I have said that Karen, did, that Karen will be doing the live on Friday, completely forgetting about Molly. I think you took it off, didn't you, Simon? I didn't put it on. You didn't put it on, good, good lad. Um, and on Thursday night, it says my name. It's actually going to be Karen because my son is coming up from London with my eighth grandchild who I have not seen just since January. Oh. Yeah. Do I sell the cutters? Yes, I do. They're FMM geometric cutters and we've got plenty in stock and they are amazing. They are. So we've got loads of lives this week. I hope lots of you are going to join us for the tea party on Wednesday afternoon at three o'clock. Just a little bit of fun in your kitchen. Make your scones, make your sandwiches, make your diet food if you prefer. And just sit down in the kitchen and join me by having a natter. That's right. all it's about. If you're putting a nose, in, nose on, you need to make a hole. So we make a hole there for the nose. Now the um, little muzzle, I do, can you see this clearly? I do a line down, yes? Do you see that, Simon? And then I do a line just there. Do it, just do it slowly. And a line there. And that you can see the little yep. muzzle marked. And then with a little pen, because they always have little tiny marks. If it's a cat, you can put whiskers in. We'll do a cat next time. There we are. Just to make it look a little bit real. And then the black paste. I always buy black, I find it. I always buy black, brown and red. It's really not worth. Um, and then I just want a little tiny bit. Just a little tiny weeny bit. This is brown, he's got a brown nose. <laughs> yeah. The afternoon tea, I've only just put it in the groups, but I'm gonna see if Simon can stream live to all the groups. And if he can stream live to the community group, and we can do afternoon tea in there, then it'll go to three groups. So you, how many, how many, how many uh, groups can you stream to at the same time? Pardon? Oh, well, that's good. Well, you know what? If you're not in the Cupcake Bouquet group or the Buttercream Flowers group, we'll stream into the community group. So if you want to join me for afternoon tea, three o'clock on Wednesday, you can. Sorry, Georgie. No, it's all right. No, a little tiny ball. And I've given it uh, like a teardrop, a little tiny weeny teardrop. I do agree, it looks like the Pink Panther at the moment. The Pink... No faith, no faith. <laughs> Think of your magnets. <laughs> the pointy P the end goes in there. And you squeeze it down. Not the rounded end. Now I've had that and that's why I'm saying it. I've had the rounded end go in and the pointy bit stick out. It just doesn't look right. So that's the pointy bit. So, and then once you've got the nose on, you can do two holes for the eyes. So we'll do two holes for the eyes. And then I use stamens. If you haven't got stamens, you can use... Um, can make black little balls though, with black sugar. You can make little black balls. Yeah. You can um, use, um, yeah, you know the little balls that you put on, I put around the cake somewhere. You can use those. There's loads of things you can buy. Yes, yeah, so you could use the stamens. You could use the little black pearl balls. Pearls. You? you need to remember these um, these toppers that Georgie makes. She makes them so that people can keep them Thank as yeah. memories. So it's a little cake topper that goes on your cake, side of your cake. She doesn't make. She makes them with everything edible. But um, there's lots of things here that are not edible, yeah. so don't be giving them to anybody to eat. And to be fair, if you've had anything with Tyler, then you don't want to eat it anyhow. And also, if I'm making one of these to go on a birthday cake, you write a disclaimer to say, do not eat. Yeah. You've covered yourself. Yeah. But most people want these on the cakes because they just want to keep them. And they keep them. Then. Yeah. Right, a normal black fibre pen, only because I haven't got one of your pens. <laughs> I've given you before. I know, what you probably do you do have. I don't know, eat them, I think. Yeah. <laughs> 
You were about them. No, the pupils go both to the left, both to the right. Yeah, don't up, do them though. Down or one in and both in the yeah. middle. Don't do it so you've got one going that way and no. one going that way. But they don't look right. Yeah, very important. Both to the left or both to the right. Both down or both up. It does look funny otherwise. Yeah. No, pipe cleaners are not edible. No. <laughs> Nor is the cocktail stick. The small black balls you can actually make with your sugar paste. Yeah. So if you if you have got, um, I know Karen Davis sits there and makes little know, balls as yes. well. She does. So if you've got some white muddling paste, take off about I don't know, take off half an inch, colour it black, and then just sit there rolling tiny yeah. little balls and stick them in a little cake container. Yeah. Got balls yeah. Pages, haven't you? Or you can buy black sugar pearls. So we're going to do the ears. Are you looking all right? Oh, you're not looking too bad, are you? I'm going to dress him up in. Are we all right for time? I don't even know what time it is. You've got plenty of time. What time are we on? We're on nine o'clock, Georgie. Are so we? you're doing very well. Good. Yeah. You sit on the stairs, dear. <laughs> So the um, little cutters, the, the little round oval and square cutters, they come as a, is there a set of 10, George? Set of ten. 10. There's 10 in the packet and they're FMM geometric cutters. They are, that's another yeah. one, and that's another one. And if it, I've known Georgie for a long time, and uh, this is one of her uh, most loved tools, seriously. Yeah. They did go in all the boxes for the teapot class, because I made sure everybody got a set. And the bundles for the teapot class, I think, are still available. So if you want to buy the bundle for the teapot class, there's no bundle for the honey class. Honey pot, because to be fair, I don't think you needed any, mm. did you? Right, ears. Don't make one ear at a time. One ball, cut in half. Then both those ears are going to be the same. Oh, it says that you have spelt a name right in the Sugar and Crumbs kitchen. Have you edited it, you? No. Oh, well, Marjorie Johnson says, in the sentence it says, tonight in the Sugar and Crumbs kitchen, yeah, Georgie Gobble, yeah. this is her correct name. Yeah. You were right, Simon. Yeah. Oh. Don't know what he's done before. Was it the intro? You might have spelt it wrong. <laughs> don't be looking at me like an angel. You know you're not. Oh, no, <laughs> don't, 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 excuse me. Excuse me. Uh, I've taken responsibility before. Kitchen debate. Yeah. Well, I've seen it, and then I've seen it now, and it's great. Right. right. Okay. So Georgie is called Georgie Godbold. So for those of you who would like books and scales, go direct to Georgie. Honestly, but please try not to message her until <laughs> Wednesday afternoon at the absolute earliest. She's doing. She's going to bed after this. Um, she's tired and tomorrow she's up all day on her little feet doing a class. I'm going to so sit down. who's excited about the class tomorrow? Me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, yeah, so she's doing a class tomorrow and then they've got a long five hour drive home. So she, she will be interested. So anytime, I don't know, after two o'clock on Wednesday, contact her and she'll come back to you. I'll be in the pub tomorrow night. <laughs> no, no. Right. You love it. You want to drive it home? <laughs> right. Two balls. Can you see that? No. Uh, yep. Do you want that black pad? Would it be better if she got the black pad out? <laughs> no. no, I don't want it. I might take it home just again. Positioning. Right, are you okay? Yeah. Right. Yes, so that's your ears. Pick it up. Just to make sure they're round. <laughs> right, Lots of people in. looking forward to the class tomorrow. Oh, it's going to be great fun. Yeah, we'll it's have going great to be time. Easy. Simon and Karen will be looking after you tomorrow. Yes. You're going to have a great day. I'm cleaning my office. <laughs> Looks like a right tip in there. Right, a little tiny ball of white, just a little one. Again, cut it in half, then you'll get both halves the same. Little tiny ball. Oh, I don't know how to say her name. I think it's Arantasa. How do you spell that? A R A N. A R A N T Z A. How would you say that? How do you say that name, Simon? With the rounded end, these are lovely oh, cell sticks. Do you do these, Carol? Oh, right. uh, yes, yeah, sell yeah. those. We do sell those. Brilliant. Lows. And these come all in different sizes, look. Lovely. Anyhow, a little boy who is eight years old is refusing to go to bed until he sees you finish this. <gasps> okay. Yeah. What's his name? 
Don't know what's his name. Is it Aran uh, Arantasa? Ramsa. Ramsa. Is it? It's got a T in it. A little bit of blue just right. on that one side, just a little bit. And Everybody's see. excited about tomorrow. <laughs> and those people who are in the class and can't make it tomorrow are going to do sneaky peeks. One of you. Chris, could you, could you wipe that for me, please? Because it's so, well, it is warm, but yeah, it's I've dried out. It's no, it's all right. Oh, here we go. Yeah. Thank you. You get back in position. Right? <laughs> get back into Say that. Get back on the stairs, right. You had a snooze on our settee. I bet. Did you have a snooze on our settee? Mm. Yes, yeah, just for a little, little bit of glue. Well, we won the cricket. Oh, well, won we the won cricket. the cricket, did we? Oh, we did. So just a little bit of glue there. I've used that very, very fine brush. You can't use more glue with that one, it's brilliant. Yeah. So make sure you get that and push that. There we are. It's coming. Yeah, it is. Okay. It still looks like the Pink Panther to me. It's though. not the Pink Panther, it's got nothing to do with the Pink Panther. <laughs> it looks like a bear, not a cat. <laughs> well, it doesn't look like a cat, it doesn't look like a bear to me yet. I think he should have been fatter. <laughs> I think he looks lovely. He does. Right, a little tiny ball. It's probably about two grams. We're going to make a tail. It's just a little stubby tail. Just bring that to the point. Oops. It's very, very cute and everybody's loving it. A little bit of glue. Just in the middle. Oops, don't drop it. I'll be watching you, Karen Naylor. Is she there? So many people are saying they're doing sneaky peeks at work. I'll be having my eye on that, Karen Naylor. <laughs> <laughs> all right, da -da, da -da, da -da. Yes, you're all right. Stick down there. Right. Yeah. Don't put on. Yeah, she's looking a bit fatter this way now. <laughs> we don't want a fat bear. We want a thin bear. She's been slimming well. <laughs> I think the little boy is called Xavier. I oh. Think. Exit. Uh, is it Xavier? Is that how you say it? A X A V I E R. Xavier. Xavier. Is that how you would say it? Don't rely on me, team. But our lovely little boy is watching. He's only eight, and he oh. can't wait. Not very good at pronouncing words. Me, that is. Where do Trisha, live? Loves, Trisha loves pink, work, uh, pink bears. Where does the little boy live? I don't know. Where do you live? Karen says, I've got to be able to advise customers accurately. <laughs> Karen is doing some work in our office at the moment. <laughs> so that's why I've said that's what she's... an eye on her. <laughs> If I ever see the little one boy at all in a, or his mummy with an exhibition, come to me and I'll make sure you can have something. Yeah. How's that? <laughs> You're very good with the kiddies at the show, aren't you? <laughs> yes. And there, I'm very good with the kids at the show. Yes, you are. Yeah, I do. My granddaughter loves you. <laughs> no, I give lots of kids. She's give always giving her bits and pieces. She yeah. loves it. But I'll tell you what they remember and they love it because yeah. they use it and they try it. I get a lot of young children, about 15, 16, who start their baking. Yes. And their mums come with them and yeah. I always actually pop them an extra bag of ice and yes. sugar in or oh. something like that. They're amazed. She loves Because I see mm. that they're using their pocket money to bake. Mm. And I think, you know, the fact that they've come to the show and the parents are saying, no, oh, you use your own money. Yeah. yeah. So I always like to pop something extra in for them. Yes. No, yeah, I think I've done it with lovely. loads of them. No, they're lovely. Uh, pronounced happier. Well, well heavier. Right. Well done, Simon. Clever clock is on it again. Clever <laughs> clock. Right, so this um, modelling paste, you can really get so thin. So I know you make it for your flowers as well, or use it for flowers. I'm not a flower maker, I'm a, I'm a modeller, so I don't really um, do flowers, but I, I know you can make. You can use any pipe cleaner, any colour pipe cleaner as you want, and you can make your teddy any colour you want. Yes. But Georgie just decided because she was in the pink kitchen tonight, she was going to make a pink, pink teddy. That now looks like Pink Panther. Stop it. <laughs> Hasn't got a long tail, has he? <laughs> Georgie's granddaughter is very good at cake making. Mm. 
Mm. Yeah, so I know Amelia very well. Since she's been a little girl, she's yes, loved it, hasn't she? she loves it. So yeah. she loves coming over to our stand. I always send her away with goodies and I stuff know, like she that. Loves she it. loves it. And I got my lava lamps off Amazon. In fact, two of them are over 20 years old when they first came in fashion and they were from John Lewis's. But the latest multicoloured one is from Amazon. Do you know what it is? I bought that. I bought them twenty odd years ago, and then I was clearing out some drawers the other week, and, and there they were. And I thought I plugged them in, and they were working. I thought, right, I'll have them in I'll the kitchen. Right again, little push, push out heart. So I hope you're enjoying this demonstration. Um, Simon is chasing Georgie round the kitchen. Are we going to see this, Georgie? Because we can't see it that side there. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. No, I know. We need to be round here. I know, I know, I know. <laughs> <laughs> right, okay need to show them oh, oh. yes yeah, sorry sorry i'll do this <laughs> forget i'm listening for the conversation do do your i'm thing. in a world in my own everyone does do it I know, I know. so you've just got tiny little love hearts out there yes. haven't you little push out little love hearts. i think they come in sets of three don't they these little push out ones it's a care bear isn't it yeah oh he knows what a care, care bear is, is. Yeah. Oh. These are very good. Uh, Linda's reminding you, Linda Donnelly's reminding you, Georgie, oh, I know her. you must pick up something from Beryl all those years she was sitting beside you yes. making the flowers no, as I you didn't. did the wobblies. She told me my flowers were rubbish. Did she? <laughs> yes, always. <laughs> always told me my flowers were rubbish and then did them for me. And only did them rubbish because I knew she'd do them for me. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, Tracy, there was a little girl on our page did, um, a couple of weeks ago who made in a cake. She was only 11. As she made a cake. Oh, but your um, Amelia put you posted Amelia's cake, your fiftieth wedding anniversary cake on. What she did for you was what? Not wedding anniversary. The diamond one it was, was for uh, the other nanny and granddad. Ah, yes. Right. Yeah. So, okay. Fantastic. How are we doing with that? What glue are you using? Have you made your own tonight? Tylo. Yeah. Right. So go on, tell them how to make glue. Tylo. Uh, uh, one of these little tiny pots. Water and probably. And a little smidgen, that's all you need. You just need a little tiny weeny bit. If I do it with, I should have brought some. I would have put about that much in, in with the water. That's all. And leave it overnight and it's glue. Yeah. And, and how keeps, long will it stay in my glue? Until I use it up. Oh, does it? Yeah. Because right. I know I've seen some demonstrators coming in and done it and then it's gone water after a week or two. No, no, that'll stay. That's brilliant. Yeah, and usually make it up in a big tumbler, so I just <laughs> you see your head poking it through the flowers. There's so many flowers here, ladies. They're absolutely beautiful, and my husband's peeking his head behind the corner. Hello, dear. Right. So, the more things you put on, Teddy, I think the better they are. And another thing we're going to do is with sugar paste. This is the fondant sugar paste. Yeah, gotta work this a bit. Yeah, so sh um, sugar paste and fondant is the same product. And uh, thank you. Um, how would you pronounce that name? Yeah. Oh, I was gonna say Crip. So thank you, Crip, for your lovely feedback. Yes, everything is feeling much better. Right, oops, that's that. All right, so I've got a little bit of tricks on there, and you really need this. And there are clay guns. No, they aren't called clay guns, but extruders. Do you sell extruders? I don't actually sell right. them, no. I tell you why I don't sell them, they're very, very expensive. If you buy the genuine yes, ones, yes. Um, they are very and expensive. And the others don't work. And then the other ones are just Rubbish. lots of companies, lots of suppliers sell the cheapy copy ones, mm -hmm. and they're still expensive to sell. Mm -hmm. And then if they break, they've got just nothing but earache, so mm -hmm. I'd rather not be involved in right. selling them. So instead of using the um, extruders, <laughs> which you can buy, but not from Carol. From Amazon. From Amazon. But be careful. What, I use what's the real brand one that they should A tea buy? strainer. Yeah, you know what? A tea strainer, a pound from the pound shop. Yes. Far cheaper. Yeah. You buy as many as you want. Yeah, and I think I got this one 50p from. Yeah. Oh, I don't know, a funny shop. Get it from a hardware store, yeah. won't you? A tea strainer. Yes. Yeah, nothing wrong with so that. So you push it in this way. So if you see all my little characters with fluffy hair, like the bees, you're going to do it tomorrow. So just push, push. Can you see? Which camera is going to be over? Yeah. Yeah. Can we have just one camera? <laughs> and 
again a cocktail stick then we're going to glue exactly where you want the fluffy hair to go it just gives him a little bit her a little bit more character all our lives on this page is free i think somebody's just asked you have to pay all our lives is on this page is absolutely free we've been doing them four years now and um i, I give up my time every every monday and thursday to do lives with you all and um, i bring karen in on a morning and i bring guests in um, all for you to watch free of charge so we never charge for any of the lives and we haven't done it in four years we don't intend to you'll also see that i haven't subscribed to stars either john is very keen that we don't subscribe to that because we don't want anybody clicking stars and having to pay you know i don't want you clicking that star button and then suddenly having money going off your mobile phone because mm. have you seen those stars no. well there's a little star so you know when you send your love hearts and your thumbs up well every time you click them it gets debited out you have to buy them but john what? is very keen that we don't subscribe to that because our whole ethos is about giving you free demonstrations free of charge there's some things we have to charge for you know what people are entitled to earn a living and that's what classes are about yeah. they're about earning a living and they keep those skills and so that they can earn their own living so we can't give everything away but i also think over the four years we have helped a lot of you free of charge which is great and i know you all appreciate it uh, i know you all appreciate it just every now and again somebody makes a little bit of a comment so um but we do do a hell of a lot for the community um, by doing things free there you go super so those little roses there where have you got them from that you've just slipped in hobby yeah, craft you've hobby snuck, craft you've just those snuck in. bows in very quick didn't you so they would be like off it's like is that like off their embroidery section or something yeah, like they've that got, little they've sewing, got section, sewing sections yeah. and little things like yeah. that yeah Hobbycraft is a great place for finding things yeah. as, as well. So lots of loves and likes. Thank you so, so much, all of you. So she's called Rosie, our pink bear, stroke pink panther. <laughs> there you go. She is actually looking like a bear, to be fair. Isn't that lovely? And those little roses are from Hobbycraft. The little paper roses, aren't yes. they? Yes. There's a song called Paper Roses, isn't there? Mm. Yeah, absolutely. So isn't that wonderful? And so very nice of Georgie to give up her time to show you these things. And Georgie's been in the kitchen many times doing lives, as so many guests of ours. Um, and if you ever want to go on a class with Georgie, we're doing online Hold classes. It <laughs> Hold it still. Stop waggling it around. We're doing online classes with Georgie. And if you join Georgie's class now, it's yeah. £60, which works out £20 a session. She's already done the teapot class, but there's nothing stopping you going back and watching that and doing it. Lots of ladies are watching tonight. They'll tell you what a fabulous time they've had. They're all getting ready for the honeypot class tomorrow. And we don't know what September is because they're all voting on it at the moment. <laughs> yes. But in September, Georgie will be back here showing you something else from her book. And it's amazing. So all books from Georgie Godbold. Um, and scales books are for say five pounds 20 quid it's going to cost you plus postage and you will not regret them they are amazing books and the cutters you can buy off me colors everything else i actually sell to be fair mm -hmm. i don't sell the tea strainer unfortunately <laughs> no no oh, I don't. isn't that awesome I don't sell the tea strainer i don't sell basic tools like wire clippers and stuff like that they're so cheap you can they're get them lovely. from the hardware store, yeah you know what i mean sell sticks. i do sell the cell sticks they're sell called frill sticks on our website it's got, um, the reason they're called cell sticks on some is the company who's called cell sticks sell, sells them but they're, they're not open they're not selling them no, so I buy them from another company now that call them frill sticks. Oh well, that's fine. Exactly the same. Yeah, absolutely. Lovely. And it's an English-based company as well. And that, that's so. not. And that. I mean, look, I've got loads. Yeah. Yeah, those. They're brilliant. And the the ball, the pens that you like there. Do you want to just quickly show them? These come in a set of five. They're on our website. They've just come back into stock today. Georgie loves these. She used them in class for the first time last time, and they're ideal for poking your little holes for your eyes and yep, nostrils, little mouths, all sorts of things. The ideal thing is they've got a ball tool on one side and a very fine brush on the other so you don't overload with glue. 
and thank you all of you for your support you're all absolutely amazing you know john and i have worked very hard as a company and i don't know any other company that does what we do free of charge uh, we have worked very hard doing Facebook Live since the very beginning when Facebook Lives come out. I know when I first asked people would they come and do a live, they looked at me as though scared to death, you know. And I have to go live quite often, sometimes not even knowing what I'm going to do. Believe it or not, Cup and Saucer is coming up next week. I'm on Cup have and Saucer. Have you done one? I've done one's Cup and Saucer mm. and had a bit of a meltdown. So I'm going for it again next week, team. <laughs> so I'm hoping to be going for Cup and Saucer night next Monday because Karen is on holiday. So I've got four lives to do next week. So I'm going to do two baking sessions, Mondays and uh, Friday. I'm doing Cup and Saucer possibly Monday night unless Karen Davies is in. So I'm hoping she's going to save me <laughs> and I can do Cup and Saucer on Thursday. You could put a wobbly in it. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> But I have always done lots of free lives. So all my baking, I've done free for you. Uh, do you know what? Somebody had a pop at me today about doing free, you know, free classes. So I'm just making sure that everybody is fully aware that we have always charged. Monday, we have never charged for any of our Facebook lives. People can't be happy unless they're sticking a knife in your back. No. Nope. Yeah. So anyhow, show us the support, guys. Yes. It's brilliant. It's brilliant. Good. So go and enjoy the night. Please try and message Georgie on Wednesday. If you want to message her now, but you might not get a response. You might not Wednesday. get a response. Okay. And then, so she's not being rude. And we'll see you in class tomorrow at 10 o'clock, fighting fit. That will be Georgie, Karen and Simon. I'm on cleaning the office. Thank you. Thanks Thank you, you Simon. Thank you. It's been lovely. Yeah. Thoroughly you, enjoyed it. Share and I hope as everybody does. Share the love, Thank everybody. you. See Thanks you tomorrow. Very much. Yeah. Bye. Bye. Bye.